Hello everyone, welcome to another video of Advanced Mathematics of Class 8 and today we are going to do exercise 7b. Now in 7a we have seen what, are, what is a Cartesian plane, how to plot points on the Cartesian plane. Now in this exercise we are going to learn how to find the distance between two coordinate points. So if a point is, if two points are given to you, suppose you have a plane and in this plane two points are given to you. Suppose a point A here and a point B here. So how to find the distance between these two points? The distance like we do using a scale in case of a geometric figure. In this case in a Cartesian system how do we find it? So as we know every point has a coordinate. So suppose this point has two coordinates. The coordinates x1 and uh, say y1 are the coordinates of this point and let B be x2 and y2. So what is the value? Of the distance so therefore the length of a b will be equal to there is a formula what is the formula it is root over x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square okay how we got this formula this year you will not need it in class 8 when you move to class 9 and 10 we will see how to use this how to find out the formula okay as of now just remember this uh, just know that this is the formula. So if you have two coordinates A and B, x1, y1 and x2, y2, then how to find the distance? You just put the values in this formula and you can find the distance between these two points. Okay, I hope it is clear. Now what we will do, we will take one example to understand what it happens, then we will move to the exercise. Okay, so let one example be, suppose I have a point A, 1,2 and I have another point B which is suppose 4 comma 5 so the distance of AB will be equal to as I have said x2 minus x1 plus whole square plus y2 minus y1 so in this case this is our x1 and this is our y1 this is our x2 and this is our y2 so what is the formula the formula is x2 minus x1 whole square and y2 minus y1 whole square so just put the value so what is x2 x2 is 4 so it is 4 minus x1 is 1 4 minus 1 whole square plus what is our y2 y2 is 5 so it is 5 minus this is our y1 y1 is 2 whole square so it is 3 square plus 3 square which is root over 2 into 3 square now as we know square if we have a squared number inside the root it will come out so it is 3 root 2 3 root 2 units. This is the distance between the two points A and B. Simple, very, very simple formula. Okay, so now let us move on to the exercise and see how do we do the sums. So, exercise 7b. This is where we start today. In exercise 7b, we will do the first question number 1. 1, 1. What do we have here? So, find the distance of the, from the, <coughs> sorry, Find the distance from the origin of the points A, B and C and hence find A, B, B, C and C. So first you have to find the distance of the point A, B and C from the origin. So we know coordinate of origin is it is 0 comma 0 and we name the origin as O. Okay, so I have given the name O and 0 comma 0 0 comma 0 because if we see the coordinate system this is our origin right in origin the coordinate is 0 comma 0 okay so this is our coordinate for origin and now we have to find the distances of this point origin from a b and c so given points are first is a 1 comma 0 then it is B 3 comma 0 and we have C which is 4 comma 0 so therefore OA OA means the distance of O and A so here again we have to do x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so now that we are taking this point O and the point A so this is our x1 y1 this is our x2 and y2 right 
so what do we know about the formula it is x2 minus x1 first so x2 is 1 and x1 is 0 y2 is 0 y1 is 0 so ultimately it is 1 square plus 0 square which is root over 1 that is 1 unit very simple now we want to find for OB so in this case our x1 and y1 are same as you can see here from the diagram I mean not from the diagram from the plane here in the page our x1 and y1 are remaining as O but this time our x2 and y2 are x2 y2 right so let us put the values our x2 is 3 x1 is 0 y2 is 0 minus 0 so we are going to get 3 square plus 0 square that is root over 9 which is equal to 3 units and finally we need to find OC so again the same thing this time our x2 is this and y2 is 0 so x2 is 4 x1 is 0 and again 0 minus 0 so it is 4 square plus 0 square which is root over 16 that means 4 units so that is how we find the distance of the points a b and c from the origin now we want to find the distances a b b c and c a so let us take it here uh, therefore a b is equal to so let me write here the values once again a is 1 comma sorry a is 1 comma 0 b is 3 comma 0 and c is 4 comma 0 so a b so in case of a b this will be our x1 y1 this will be our x2 y2 right so what we will write x2 minus x1 so it is 3 minus 1 by plus 0 minus 0 so it is 2 square plus 0 square which is root over 4 that is 2 units let's find out bc now so i hope you, you are getting it what we are doing now in case of bc x1 and x2 are 3 and 0 x1 and y1 and x2 and y2 are 4 and 0 so it will be 4 minus 3 and 0 minus 0 which is going to be 1 square plus 0 square which is root over 1 that is 1 unit and finally we need to find ca so in case of ca the coordinates of a are going to be x1 and x2 uh, sorry the coordinates of c are going to be x1 x2 the coordinates of a are going to be x2 uh, x2 and y2 so in ca let me write it again in ca this is going to be your x1 y1 and a is going to be x2 y2 so similarly so it will be 1 minus 4 0 minus 0 so it is root over minus 3 whole square plus 0 square which is again 9 so it is 3 units okay so this is how we do the whole sum here is it for you. here it is for you if you want you can take a screenshot from this okay done similarly you can do question number one number two three and four it is a similar process you can find the values we will not be doing question number two we'll be moving to question number three again in the same way we are going to solve for question number three so in question number three what do we have we have we will take we will solve let us solve any one suppose we are trying to solve question roman number two let's solve roman number two in roman number two what do we have we have two points a two comma three and we have b four comma two we have to find the distance between them so as we have said this is going to be our x1 y1 and this is going to be x2 and y2 and we know the formula so distance between a and b is equal to root over x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 so x2 is 4 minus x1 is 2 y2 is 2 minus y1 is 3 just remember the formula okay again let me write the formula here the formula is x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square so here our x2 is 4 that's why i've written 4 x1 is 2 so i've written 2 y2 is 2 i've written 2 y1 is 3 i've written 3 again understood so 4 minus 2 is 2 square and this is minus 1 square so 
so or 2 square means 4 1 square is 1 so it is root over 5 units okay that is how you find the distance between two points if it is root over 5 it's okay it can be a root over value okay it is not that it will always be an integer let us do one more to understand better suppose question number 5 row 1 5 so in row 1 5 we have two points a minus 2 comma minus 4 and we have a point b which is 7 comma minus 1 okay simple simple thing here this is our x1 this is our y1 this is x2 and this is y2 so therefore distance between a and b as we know the formula x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 so x2 here is 7 as you can see above minus of minus 2 and y2 minus y1 y2 is minus 1 minus of minus 4 so it is going to be 7 plus 2 whole square minus minus plus this is minus 1 plus 4 again minus minus plus whole square yeah so it is 9 square plus 3 square 81 plus 9 which is root over 90 root over 90 means we can write it as 9 into 10 and 9 is 3 square so it is 3 root 10 units okay that is how we find the distance between two points for question number 1 3 2 and 3 5 we have done two sums i hope these things are clear let's move on to a new sum which is question number 4 the remaining sums of question number 3 are necessary so you can try it yourself if you find any problem we will discuss you can discuss with me okay let's do question number four show that the points two one three five and six two form an isosceles triangle so how to show so we'll write given points are two one three five and six two so no name has been given so it will be easier for us if we give it a name so let the points be named as a 2 comma 1 b 3 comma 5 and c 6 c 6 comma 2 okay so we have given three names a b and c now in order to prove it to be an isosceles triangle we must show that at least two sides are equal not at least uh, two sides must be equal so we need to find if i draw a triangle here like this if this is our a b and c then length of two sides must be equal if two sides of a triangle are equal it is an isosceles triangle if all the sides are equal it is an equilateral triangle so let us see whether you can show that any two sides are equal in length so therefore we need to find the length of a b so again we will put the same formula distance formula that we know x2 minus x1 so here a and b point a and point b x2 minus x1 try it yourself now it will be 3 minus 2 whole square and y2 minus y1 will be 5 minus 1 by now i think it should be clear what i am writing okay so if you are not getting it now go back go back in the video and see what i am doing which one is x1 which one is y1 which one is x2 which one is y2 because now if i keep on writing the same thing over and over again you will get habituated so don't do that okay go back in the video understand what i have done come back now and check if you are understanding what i am doing now this is how you can check whether you are understanding or not is it clear so let's go so 3 minus 2 3 minus 2 means 1 square 5 minus 4 is 5 minus 1 is 4 square so it is 1 plus 16 which is root over 17 units this is the distance of ab okay let us try and find bc same formula b and c this time so b and c so 6 minus 3 and 2 minus 5 6 minus 3 is 3 square and 2 minus 5 is minus 3 square so it is 3 square plus 3 square which is 2 into 3 square so it is 3 root 2 units okay now let's find out ca 
so in ca our c and a will be x2 minus x1 so 2 minus 6 and 1 minus 2 so it is minus 4 whole square plus minus 1 whole square so the values are 16 plus 1 which is root over 17 units so from this sum we can see that AB and BC here the value of AB and the value of CA not BC sorry CA AB and CA are equal but BC is not equal so we will write that since AB is equal to CA in triangle ABC therefore triangle ABC is an isosceles triangle hence short okay understood find the length of all the three sides if two sides are same equal in length then it will be an isosceles triangle this is how we do question number four let's if you want you can take a screenshot from here okay Chalo. let's move on to the next question and this time we will be doing question number five five is not uh, needed five is not needed uh, six will also not be required because we are going to do something similar uh, as of now six is not needed let's move on to question number seven so let's see what they have asked show that the points four points are given are vertices of a parallelogram vertices of a parallelogram so how do we prove it so in a parallelogram what happens okay let me draw a parallelogram here if I draw a parallelogram, in a parallelogram what happens? The opposite sides are equal. And not only that, in an opposite sides are also equal in a rectangle, right? So if I draw a rectangle, if I draw a rectangle here also the opposite sides are equal. But what is the difference between a parallelogram and a rectangle? In the parallelogram, the diagonals that we will draw, these diagonals will not be of the same length. But in case of a rectangle, the diagonals are also of the same length. So if I have a parallelogram say ABCD, I must show that AB and CD are equal, AD and BC are equal. These two I must show. But I must also show that the diagonal AC and the diagonal BD are not equal. Because if they become equal, they will become a rectangle. Okay. So we have to prove that the given points are the length, are the sides of a parallelogram. So what we will do, What we will do here we will take again give the names okay so in question numbers we are doing seven what we will do let the points be named as let the given points be named as what are the points uh, suppose a minus 1 comma 4 b minus 3 comma 6 c minus 4 comma 4 and d minus 2 comma 2 so here we have the four points um, so let us write suppose that this be a that b c and d okay so what are we going to find first let us find out the four sides length of the four sides a b b c c d and d a so here a b how to find the formula is x2 minus x1 plus y2 minus y1 so here it will be minus 3 minus minus 1 and it will be 6 minus 4 so it is minus 3 plus 1 whole square plus 2 square so it is minus 2 whole square plus 2 square which is 4 plus 4 that is root over 2 into 4 which is 4 is 2 square so it is 2 root 2 units this is AB now let us find BC BC is minus 4 minus minus 3 whole square plus 4 minus 6 whole square so it is minus 4 plus 3 whole square plus minus 2 whole square so this is minus 1 whole square plus 4 it is 1 plus 4 which is root 5 units 
now let us find ca i mean cd not ca cd cd is again minus 2 minus minus 4 whole square plus 2 minus 4 whole square minus 2 plus 4 whole square minus 2 whole square this is 2 square and this is 4 4 plus 4 that is 2 into 4 and this will be again 2 root 2 units similarly let us find da so while finding da we have minus 1 minus minus 2 minus 1 minus minus 2 and there we have 4 minus 2 these are the values let us find minus 1 plus 2 whole square plus 2 square so it is 1 square plus 4 root over 5 units so here we can see that the values of AB and CD are same also the values of BC and DA are same so that means the opposite sides are equal see BC and DA are equal and also we have AB and CD as equal so opposite sides are equal now we need to show that the diagonals are not equal then it will be a parallelogram so now I need to find the value of AC also I need to find the value of BD let's do it so AC means it will be minus 4 minus minus 1 whole square and 4 minus 4 whole square for BD it will be minus 2 minus minus 3 whole square it will be 2 minus 6 whole square now let us find the values it is minus 4 plus 1 whole square plus 0 square so it is minus 3 whole square and 0 is not there so it will be ultimately going to be 9 which is 3 units and in case of BD we have minus 2 plus 1 oh sorry plus 3 whole square plus minus 4 whole square which is 1 square plus 16 is root over 17 units so what we have seen here is therefore AB equal to CD and BC equal to DA but AC is not equal to BD therefore ABCD is a parallelogram okay clear I hope you have understood this so this is how we show that this is a parallelogram similarly in question number 8 look at question number 8 show that the points four points are given forms a rhombus in case of a rhombus what happens what happens in case of a rhombus is you have all the four sides are equal all the four sides are equal but the diagonals will not be equal so you have to show that the four sides that are given are all are of same length but the diagonals are not equal then it becomes rhombus otherwise what it will become it will become a square in square all the four sides are equal and the diagonals are also equal okay so for rhombus all four sides are equal diagonals are not equal try it yourself number nine prove that the points 1 2 3 4 forms the vertices of a rectangle question number 9 is for rectangle rectangle means what what will happen suppose I draw a rectangle here in case of rectangle opposite sides are going to be equal and the diagonals are also going to be equal just as we discussed previously so opposite sides must be equal like a parallelogram but in this case diagonals should also be equal then it will be a rectangle okay so question number 8 and 9 I want you to try by yourself the remaining sums we will be looking at in our next video okay i hope it is clear for all of you so thank you everyone for watching if you have any doubts ask me and until next time cheers